You know, I met Brian Cox once at TIFF. I was working a bar at the Royal York Hotel and he came up and I was like, hello, would you like some Toronto tap water or would you like Perrier? And he's like, you don't just run a bar, you run a comedy bar. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. He took a Perrier. So we have an amazing person on today, Tony Napo. He was nominated for a Canadian Screen Award, a Broadway World Award, two Dora Awards, and two Actor Awards. He's been in a lot of theater. Tony <laughs> has been at Mervish, Soul Pepper, Tarragon, Can Stage. Here's his list of TV shows and some movies that he's on. ENG. Right? Pretty Hard Cases. Remedy. Earth Ooh. Final Conflict. This is Wonderland. Schitt's Creek. Slings and Arrows. Uh, Killjoys. Oh. Flashpoint. Frankie Drake. Let me introduce to you Tony Napo. Oh, yeah. there he is. Oh, yay. Yeah. 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 I think you're the first person we've had on that's been smoking, so congratulations. I'm the coolest guest you've ever had already. I know why I still smoke? Because nobody likes a quitter. Aww. What was the spark that got you acting? I was at university studying to be an English teacher, taking acting as a drama minor. A teacher took me aside and said, what are you going to do with your life? I said, I'm going to be a teacher. She said, what about acting? I'm going to tell you something I've only ever told one other person. If you study this properly and dedicate your life to it, I think you could make a living doing this. He gave me the number of that one other student, Enrico Colantoni. Oh no. my. He and I had a chat at the end of that phone call deciding, I'm going to go for this. And I did. And Enrico and I now are very good friends. Wow. Well, well, you know, fantastic. Me. Since you brought up Enrico, I'm going to play this scene. First of all, I was out of line. So was I. I shouldn't have yelled. You know, I just get in the OR and I just got to get a bit keyed up. I'm working on that. Second of all, and that's what I called you down here to tell you. Don't worry about it. Sam, I put my finger. Just don't worry about it. So that was remedy. It's very cool. He's 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 like family to me. He's like a big brother to me. In fact, I just lost a big job to him called the trades. Uh, but you know, yeah. what are you gonna do? We had Hannah Cheeseman on as a guest. She wrote and directed this great short film called Cheese. It's the most expensive one we have, lady. A pound. A pound. <laughs> The cheese. But she just got the cheese, God damn it. <laughs> I love that short. How much of that was oh, in the you. script and how much of that was improvised? That, that's Hannah's script, pretty much word for word. I like to improvise and I was rehearsing a play in Montreal for Vittorio Rossi and he says, Tony, what you doing up there? It's beautiful, but uh, you know that play I wrote? Could you say some of it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baroness Von Sketch. You are so, so beautiful. Thank you. I got it! I got it! Another one! Oh. <laughs> oh. Five smiles! Oh. Make you smile! One of the things I do very well is be an asshole. <laughs> Anything coming up? I did a film with Richard Gere called Longing. I think it's going to be a wonderful film. And then an episode of a show called Surreal Estate. Other than that, I'm painting the houses. Canadian artists, you know, we always got a side gig. I said to someone the other day, whatever you do to pay your bills doesn't define who you are as an actor. Right. It just defines you as a guy who pays your bills. I think that's a hashtag. Tony Napo, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you thank you. You're delightful. You guys are good. You're like three oh. Brian Lenehan. <laughs> wow. Way better looking. Way better oh. looking. <laughs> Got a really cool, like, yeah. life force. You guys have a yeah. very big life force. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.